Okay, so now we're going to take a brief look at the signature analyzer part of this. Um, by clicking on the signature analyzer icon up here at the top, and it brings up this screen. And it's kind of like sort of an XY plot sort of thing. And it's got four large buttons over here for selecting what kind of device you're looking at. So in this case right here, I have a little test with a um, resistor network that's very, very close to 50 ohms. And it's in series with a 1% 100 nanofarad polystyrene capacitor, which is, we've measured, and it's extremely close to 100 nanofarads. Um, it's even better than 1%. So we're looking at the resistor right now, which is supposed to be 50 ohms. Now, if you notice the screen, as soon as I've selected the resistor icon, I'm getting this kind of a of a of a trace that almost looks like an integral. It's it's basically um, peaking right here and here, and it's not the transfer function isn't getting any any more linear up this direction. So what we need to do is we need to reduce the amplitude so that we keep the the function pretty much linear like this. Now you can make it larger or smaller by changing your your voltage and current. Here I can make this a little bit longer like this, like that. And so if we stay in the linear region right in here and, and avoid the distortion at both ends, we can read a, a pretty good resistance value right here of 50 ohms. So, so that's how that works. There, as I mentioned earlier, there is a, a, a calibration tool for this, this particular part of the application. You can see it says signature analyzer calibration. And what you can use for this is to set your voltage and your current appropriately using a number of resistors that you have already uh, taken a look at on a good LCR bridge. Um, so what I chose is something like very small value and then checked it with something like 100 ohms, 1K ohm, 10K ohm, et cetera, up like that. My small values were about... Uh, 4.7 ohms or 5 ohms, like that. And so you, you get, you, what you do is try to, to get your calibration sliders so that all of these values will, will fit the best uh, across that whole range you've chosen. Then you save the calibration and then, then close that. So that's what I've done here. So this part of the product is a little bit technique dependent. It gives you a chance to learn about a few of these other things that you might have to do to get something set up properly. So now let's let's take a look at the capacitance. Now with a, an RLC bridge, often you have a choice of what frequency you want to measure a capacitor at. So I, I made sure that this one, I was looking at the numbers of this at about, you know, 500 hertz. So let's take a look at how this works. First we, we've connected it up, now we have to choose the capacitance icon right here. And when you go to that, you see that there's now there's a, there's a frequency right here that you can slide as well as an amplitude. Um, there's a mode of parallels or series and so on like that. Now, if what we want to do is we want to get a, a trace that's more or less more or less a circle on the thing. And we'll see how it's distorted. If it's too distorted, then we're going to move this down a little bit and, and make it more of a perfect circle like that. And when we get to that point, you can see that the capacitance is very close to the 100 nanofarads that I said it was and that the, the other bridge uh, says it is too. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any raw inductors that I can make. Uh, or make available right now, so we're going to have to skip that part of it. But uh, one of the things that I should have mentioned right at the beginning is that when you're using the vector network, um, or the signature analyzer rather, what, what you use is just the output from the generator itself. It, it's, it has 
it has some circuitry in here that is making that it's making measurements from when it gets into this mode. So you don't use the scope probes for this. You just use these two right here. So you can also um, check diodes as well as inductors with this. When you get into the diode mode, there's a couple of choices you can make, either small signal or power diodes or Zener diodes here. So um, just for power diodes, for instance, um, I just check a couple of diodes that are on, uh, on a power supply board right here. And I can just apply these right to it if I can get the, the clip leads to stick on there like that. Or here's another one that's, that's uh, biased or biased the other direction right here. So you can develop some signatures just by, you know, to use to check a board if you need to. That's just a, a very simple ex example of an excellent application you can use for this. So um, again, there's a little bit of cut and try with this particular part of the product, but it's it's quite educational and, and also I feel quite useful. So um, this is it in a nutshell. So if you have any questions, give me a call. So um, we recommend this product, especially for students and people doing audio work. Uh, so um, if you have any questions, give us a call. And thanks for watching.